Okay, so this is the video of the making of this, as promised. Uh, yeah, this is a nice little candelabra that I have these little tea lights in that I can turn on and off with a remote. So I can just stay outside. You'll see it's wet. It's been outside for the last couple of nights. Uh, that's because it's been treated. It's got, you know, it's had all kinds of stuff, which I'm going to explain in this video. So what is this? This is a skull and these are skull hands. Skeleton hands. Yeah. Uh, I got from AliExpress. Really cheap. There was no uh, massive expense made with this. Uh, it probably, in total, probably cost me maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds. The, uh, the candle bits are actually, I don't know if you remember, I did a video of uh, my pack, which is here. And... On the back here, you see this yellow thing here. It's actually a pool noodle. Uh, so I bought a pool noodle off of uh, Amazon. I think I paid, I don't know what I paid. It was ages ago, so I used it for that. Uh, maybe a tennis, so that actually does bump the price of this up a little bit. But I had loads of it left. I only needed like 12 inches. And I saw a video on Facebook of something similar to this. Uh, not exactly like this. It was just like the pool noodles put together, hot glued together and sprayed up, that kind of stuff. But I decided to do it with the skull and make it a proper little piece with the hands and stuff, with the, with the, the skeleton hands. And make something I could have for a few years and it'd be, you know, something I could put on the doorstep on Halloween. So this will be, and you can see it's wet, it's been outside for a few days now. Uh, uh, so let me go through the process I did or went through to make this. Okay, so first of all are the pool, the, the, the pool noodle. Uh, cut down to size, you'll see the seven different heights. Uh, the small ones at the front because that made sense. Put them down here because it made sense with the with the bits and pieces. Hot glued them in place. Uh, didn't use a lot of hot glue. In fact, the hot glue kind of came unstuck. But I used a lot more hot glue later. Uh, you'll see down. I don't even see down in the crevice in there. If I get a bit of light in there, there's proper loads of hot glue down there. It's actually pooling water because I've used so much hot glue. It's all stuck together, but it looks good. So I hot glued it together. I primed it with some gray primer. I then used uh, some silver paint on, on the uh, skull and the hand. So I actually used silver paint on these to give it, give it a little bit of something extra, a little bit of shine on the hands and the skull. And then I did use a little bit of my toothpaste extravaganza to paste a few areas where I wanted the silver to stay. So when I paint it black, I can take the toothpaste off and the silver will come through underneath. It's a method I used on my pack a lot, uh, and it works really well. It's all around like the nose and stuff, all that kind of stuff. And then I sprayed it all black. It got a proper coat of black. Uh, I think it's plastic coat I used. And then I got a little bit of rub and buff just to do a little bit of areas where it's just gonna shine a little bit better like around the eyes and on the on the teeth, make them, and on the, the kind of lips and the nose uh, area. And then I got a few dabbings, splash of yellow because it makes sense when the lights are on, there might be a bit, a bit of a yellow cast in here and there. And then right at the end, put some nice uh, uh, coating on it and it sealed it all up. But what you can, I don't know if you can see here, I've got dribbles of candle wax. That is actually hot glue. That is actually lots of hot glue just pasted around the top, let to dribble down the sides there to give it that kind of look that it's uh, proper candle wax. And I think it looks really, really good. I really like it. And as I say, you can use these tea lights, these fake tea lights that will come on with the touch of a button and go off as well. So you can leave it on outside for a few hours and then just turn it off and they'll last for days really really happy with that uh hope you enjoyed this video if you got anything out of this and you're inspired to make something similar let me know in the comments uh send me some pictures that'd be amazing uh, always happy to see people have done similar stuff uh after being inspired by a couple of my videos i get a few messages now and again it really does you know bring it home so i uh, just want to thank you so much for being part of this channel if you're here and you haven't done so already, worth subscribing. 
this is a channel now for all bits and pieces that I do my guitar in, which isn't that good, but I like somewhere where I can have somewhere to put some video of my uh, learning guitar. And a lot, of, a lot of cosplay stuff. So at the moment, my main cosplay is the Ghostbusters, as most of you probably know. There are other stuff as well. Uh, me and the wife have started doing other things. You might see in the background there's a bell. I do actually have a beast. So that'll be coming out soon. You might see a few videos of that. So yeah, happy Halloween. I might have a video coming out uh, tomorrow's Halloween, but it looks like it's actually going to bucket down. So I don't know whether I'm actually going to be able to do what I wanted to do for Halloween, uh, which is a massive Ghostbusters thing on my front, front uh, uh, driveway. I've got a huge blow up Ecto-1, which is uh, sat in a box waiting to be bought out that I can't bring out because it's bucketing down outside. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks for being here and I will see you guys and girls on another video. Take care. Bye.